Hey, I'm Paul with RackOutfitters.com. Here to show you the Kuat Sherpa 2.0 lightweight platform hitch rack. Here we have it installed onto this Honda CRV, which is equipped with a two inch receiver hitch. We'll go over some of the key features that make this rack unique. For starters, it's constructed of primarily lightweight aluminum alloy to keep the weight down at 32 pounds. It's a dedicated two bike carrier, so it doesn't have to have all the extra weight uh, for other racks that can be extended out to four bikes. So this keeps the weight down and uh, you don't have to lug around any excess weight. It's also a very compact rack. So I'll go ahead and take it from this stowed position into the, uh, sorry, from the deployed position into the stowed position. I'll be dropping down these front wheel cradles. And here is the release lever that allows me to tip it into the stowed position. And you can see you have ample clearance between the rack and the vehicle. Even with the wheel cradle up, you still have clearance, but that just ensures that you have additional clearance there. So next, let's go ahead and take it off the, the hitch temporarily. I'll just remove the hitch pin and the lock and slide it off so that you can see the inner workings of the stinger. So here you have a wedge, and this wedge pushes this ball bearing into the corner of the receiver hitch, thereby giving you a very effective anti-wobble, both vertically and horizontally. So I'll go ahead and demonstrate how that works. When you're installing and removing the rack, it's always best to do that when it's in this right angle position. That way you don't have to extend your back over the rack. You just drop it down onto the bottom ledge of the hitch, bring it up to a horizontal position, and begin sliding it inward. But before you slide it too far, go ahead and take your hitch pin and put it through the hitch pin hole. It'll be touching the side of the stinger and continue on forward until the hitch pin goes through the hole. It's acting as a feeler. Once it does that, then you can pull back on it and begin tightening this knob, which is gonna push that ball bearing into the corner of that receiver hitch. And you just get that good and snug. And once it is snug, you can see here how you have a very, very rigid connection to that receiver hitch. Next, we'll take the hitch lock. And in this case, this is a spring-loaded lock mechanism, so it does not require that the key is inserted to lock it. So you simply cover up the keyhole and reach down and snap it onto your hitch pin. We pulled back on the stinger to apply a slight bit of friction on the, on the pin so it doesn't uh, move around. Okay, next let's go ahead and bring it back into the carrying position. And so to do that, you'll see here, you have essentially a foot pedal. So without using any hands, you can just use your foot to release that lever and then bring it down and it'll automatically engage into the carrying position. So let's load a bicycle into this inner position. To do that, I'll bring the hold down arm out and extend it and bring up the front wheel cradle and also open the rear wheel cradle. I'll press this button to release the strap. This strap is a nylon strap that's rigid, but on the inner edge, it has a cushioned rubber protector for, for your rim. Also the cradle pivots, which means it can stay stationary. It doesn't have to slide back and forth on a long tray. It automatically will adjust to the wheelbase length. So here we have a, a bicycle with rel relatively thin tires. So this rack can accommodate even thinner tires as well as bicycles with, with much wider tires, a really wide range of different tire shapes and sizes and, and uh, anywhere from uh, small wheels to larger wheels. So I'll bring up this, this hold down arm. You'll notice there is a indention in the top of this, of this hook and that's what we need to press against the tire. And you wanna get it near to the first point of contact on the bike without it actually touching. Once you have it there, then you wanna give it a good firm press down to make sure it has a good grip onto that tire. And then here in the back, you can see that this, this rear wheel cradle is automatically adjusted. I'm gonna go ahead and just bring it around to where we have a nice space to run the strap through. You just run the strap through, pull it snug, and now the bicycle is ready for transport. So next I'll show you the 
cable lock. And if you see here, we have a, a lockdown point. The lockdown point is what we'll use to attach the cable lock. So we have the loop end that goes around the bicycles and then the lockdown point that goes through the loop and then you engage it into that lockdown point. Again, this is spring loaded so you don't need the key to lock it, only to release the key and release the lock cable. Next, we have an additional feature which is access into the back of the vehicle. To do that, even with the bike or two bikes loaded, we pull this lever forward and then allow the rack to come down. You guide the rack down and now you have access into the back of the vehicle in most circumstances as well. So I'll go ahead and lift that back up. You lift at the nameplate at the front and it'll re-engage and then you're ready to transport your bicycles. So those are all the key features of the Kuat Sherpa 2.0. This product along with full line of Kuat products are available at rackoutfitters.com and thanks for watching.